going over all things copper color melts. So here we go, let's get started. Um, I have a lot to share this morning. I am gonna be using the Moroccan Oil Hair Color Collection. It launched last year in 2022, and I am mixing up my first formula for my color melt. So what is a color melt? Um, there's so many different descriptions to a color melt. Well, I am gonna be breaking it down, making it easy and simple. I have my little model here. But here I am mixing up my first formula. This is gonna be my base to my copper color melt. And this is Color Rhapsody Permanent Cream Color. You can see the consistency. And what I mixed up for today is, let's see, what did I mix up here? I mixed Color Rhapsody Permanent Cream Color. We have 4.64R with 6.46 copper. I did that in equal parts with 10 volume cream developer. Um, and let's get started. I have to get started um, applying this beautiful color melt. Let me show you our starting level here. So this is my beautiful model. Um, I've sectioned her out to make my application a lot easier and simple, especially when you're doing a color melt. I um, like just sectioning out to see where I'm starting, where I'm going. It's also important when you're doing a color melt like this and you have a solid blonde, like my model here, to stay organized and stay cleaned with your application. So here is my sectioning here. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Moroccan oil is taking over this morning and we are doing a copper color melt. I'm also here to answer any questions on the brand new Moroccan oil hair color collection. Now with my color melt, I have three different formulas that I'm using because with a melt, we want that gradient um, color. So I like to have depth at the root and then brightness in the face frame, brightness on the ends, some dimension throughout. I'm really almost gonna do like a mini uh, color correction on this beautiful doll head here using my three formulas um, for my color melt. So this is gonna be my second formula. Uh, this is the mid-tone. So with a color melt, um, I like to differentiate a color melt between a root shadow, root gloss, all over gloss. Um, there's always that mid tone. So that mid color in the mids right here, where it makes it nice and gradient from dark to light, almost like an ombre effect. So this is gonna be my mid formula. And for my mid formula, I mixed up um, 6.3, that's six gold, with 7.4, that's seven copper. So I'm starting from um, a level five on the roots, going into a level six, level seven to the mids. And then for the ends, I mixed up a lighter formula. And this is where you're gonna get that beautiful color melt. So for the ends, I mixed up, oh, what do we got here? Um, eight copper, so 8.4 color rhapsody with 9.3. Uh, that is a gold. So we're going from that dark reddish copper to that beautiful bright golden copper on the ends to really get a lot of pops of dimension, brightness, but also get that gradient color melt. So once I got my color mixed up, you know, I ran out of my whisk. I only had two for some reason and I have three bowls of lightener, but I always make sure when I'm mixing up my color, I'm being very gentle, but going in there and really working all of that product in, especially when you're using multiple shades, multiple um, colors in your formulation. Not only did I use the Color Rhapsody Permanent Cream Color, but I infused my formula to give it some spice using the Moroccan Oil Color Infusion Pure Color Mixers. Okay, now that all of my color is mixed up in my bowl here, um, don't do this at home. I, I don't like mixing my, my color with the brush, but 
it is what it is. Here, let's get this all mixed up. And then I'm gonna just remove this actually and get a new brush because I don't want to I don't want it to look messy. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a new brush there. So that was my formula for my ends. And then for my roots and my mids, that's all mixed up. Now it's time to get melting, time to get coloring. Let me get rid of these brushes. If you're just tuning in, thanks so much for joining in. I'm Rochelle Marbohawk, Moroccan Oil Elite Color Professional, and we are going to do a copper color melt. Let's, let's move this here so you all can see um, what I prepped. I am such a visual learner, so I love having like visuals when I'm learning. So let's talk about my placement. I, I tried to um, make this as nice as possible, you guys, but I'm gonna start in the back, and you can see my sectioning in the back there. I have this triangle, inverted triangle section, um, right in the middle, and then I have two uh, diagonal back sections. And you can see here, I drew it. I drew it for you all, so you can have a visual. I'm going to start in the left back corner here with my application, and let's get everything set up. You know what I'm missing? I'm missing my balayage board. I need to get that because. My handy dandy balayage board. This is also what keeps me nice and clean and organized when I am color melting, coloring the hair. Um, I also have my level finder. You know, before we get started, I, I always like talking about um, the, the foundation of color and knowing where your starting level is is very important because that's going to determine what you're going to formulate with. So I know that my starting level is a level eight, light blonde, and the underlying pigment is yellow. That is perfect for what we're doing because we are doing a copper color melt. I don't need her to be really, really blonde. And if you are pre-lightening your client, maybe someone has um, a darker level, starting level like me, and you want maybe a dimensional copper, knowing where you need to be at so that you're not having to correct that when you're applying your color melts is very important. So when I'm doing coppers, I like to say, stay within um, these ranges here. You're definitely gonna wanna use those beautiful, um, rich undertones when you're doing a copper uh, color or color melt. So I'm at a starting level, level eight, that is a light blonde, underlying pigment is yellow. I love these level finders. This is in the Moroccan Oil Color Swatch Book. Okay, so now that I've determined my natural level, um, I have all of my color set up in my tray here, and I am ready to get melting. So I'm just going to actually just move this clip out of my way so it's not in the way when I'm coloring. When you're melting, um, well, when I'm color melting, my main goal is really to add as much depth, dimension in the hair, gradient, softness. Um, so I'm keeping all of that in mind during my hair color application. So I'm going to take my first section here and I'm going to be using my base color and my base color is um, around a level five and that is 4.6, that is a red, and I mix that with a 6.4, that is a copper. And I'm just gonna move this little piece of hair here because this is the ends of the other section on the right side here, and I don't wanna get my dark base color on those ends. Let me get in closer here, as close as I can get so you all can see. So when I'm applying my base color, I'm going in and I'm making sure I'm fully saturating this section. And I love working at a diagonal back because that's gonna soften any harsh lines. So um, we know that diagonals will soften any horizontal lines. So I like to make sure I'm going in at a diagonal back, just right here at the nape, I'm saturating and keeping my sections as clean and as neat as possible. Where is everyone from? Where are you joining in from this Tuesday morning? 
I am in Southern California. I'm down here in Temecula. It is a gorgeous Tuesday and I'm so excited to be taking over um, hair brain this morning, doing a little col copper color melt. All right, so now that my base color is in, then I can really get in here and get creative with my color melts. So I'm gonna pre, I'm gonna move this subsection. I'm just gonna clip this out of the way. I make sure I have a towel, a clean towel um, on my tray because when we're color melting, our hands can um, get cost contaminated, cross contaminated with the colors, different colors. So when I'm going in with my color melt, I like to just take my balayage board and this gives me a nice um, flat surface to really paint and it allows me to get the color in there and really saturate the hair with the product. So I talked about diagonal back sections will soften any horizontal lines. I'm keeping that in mind when I'm applying my hair color here. This is gonna be my darkest formula, my depth. So I actually, I like to keep it brighter around the face. So I'm um, going at a diagonal back to keep it a little bit brighter towards the face because that's gonna be a part of our money piece is what you like to call it, right? Our face frame. I definitely want to keep her uh, face frame brighter. And then I'm going in with my third formula. This is my um, formula for my ends. And this is a level eight copper with a level nine gold. So I know that this is gonna maintain my brightness and I'm going in at a diagonal back, really saturating going in with my ends, and then I like to go in with my mids last back here, because this ensures that I can melt these two together and I don't have like tiny little space for my, um, my mid formula. Okay, now that all of that section is fully saturated, we're gonna use our hands, and I like to do like the scissors, and we're gonna just melt these two formulas together at the root. So this is my root color, and that's a level five to a, that's, wait, that's a level five. I mixed up the 4.6, that's a four red with a six copper. That makes a level five. Okay, so I'm going in, I'm melting these two together. I'm gonna put my balayage board down, and then um, I'm gonna go in with another scissor right here, making sure I don't use the other one, the other two fingers that I used for the root. I'm gonna go in and melt my ends and my mids together. And this is really what's gonna create that beautiful color melt that gives you a beautiful radiant depth to um, brightness. Hello everyone, if you're just tuning in, we are doing a beautiful copper color melt using the Moroccan oil Color Rhapsody Permanent Cream Color. All right, so this is fully saturated. I'm just gonna grab my foil here to keep things nice and organized and clean. I'm gonna pop this right under this section. I'm just gonna kind of like glue that onto that foil ever so slightly, make sure it's fully saturated. I'm gonna wipe my hands um, with the towel to make sure everything is nice and clean. Now, I'm gonna follow this sectioning up the side here using a diagonal back. And I feel I can really take this next section in one go. Um, my doll head here, she has finer uh, density, which also I like to keep in mind. When someone has finer density, I want to make sure that um, I I want to keep my sections almost pretty thick because if I keep them too thin, it's going to get lost in um, the final result and I'm going to lose the depth. So making sure if you have a, a client with finer density going in 
with almost like thicker sections to make sure that the depth doesn't get lost. So I went in again with my balayage board. I kind of like just um, wiped it down a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my base color at a diagonal back. I'm gonna apply my base color here. And you know, if you wanna get a little bit creative, a little bit more um, advanced with your application, and if you wanna create ribbons of brightness, what you can also do is you can take your um, paintbrush and you can also like weave out if you want to maintain uh, ribbons of brightness, weave out some of this hair and maybe go in with your lightest formula first. Still at a diagonal back. And then weave this out, go in with your mid formula, melt these two together, but you can keep this as um, some brightness at the end. So melt with your fingers here, blend, blend, blend. Keep your sections kind of like neat and organized, just clip that away. And then I'm going to blend with my other finger your light shade. You can also use your hand if you don't have a balayage board, like use this hand as kind of your board here. I have my mid formula. I'm applying that, working that down with my fingers. And then maybe I take this section here and I only paint from my root formula to my lightest formula here, which is a level eight, level nine. And that's gonna give you so much more dimension with your application, um, just changing up where you're applying the depth and where you're applying the brightness in your subsections can give you um, more broad pops of brightness throughout your application. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the next section here. Does anyone have any questions? Hello everyone, if you're just tuning in, my name is Rochelle, I'm the Moroccan Oil Elite Color Professional and I'm doing a copper color melt on my lovely model here. I'm using the Moroccan Oil Color Rhapsody Permanent Cream Color, and this is a level five at her root. This is her um, base color where I want the most depth. So I mixed up that red 4.6, that red in Color Rhapsody, and then equal parts of the 6.6, copper. Uh, what I love about this brand new color line is how healthy and how soft my client's hair feels and looks after. If you've tried it, give me a thumbs up. Give me some hearts. If you're wanting to try it, you're curious about it, I would love to answer any questions. The technology is so amazing. Moroccan oil is known for our most luxurious, highest quality of argan oil. We were the first ones to come out with argan oil infused hair care in the market like 15 years ago. And now we have a full hair body and now hair, professional hair color collection. Um, and our Color Rhapsody Permanent Cream Color is infused with Argan ID. So Argan ID, it infuses the hair with all of its amazing moisture properties, antioxidants, and we know with healthier, shinier hair, we have longer lasting hair color. All right, so I'm going in again at a diagonal back making sure I'm using my fingers to really work that product in the hair. 
And then I'm going in with my formula for the ends. This is the brighter formula. This is gonna be a level eight copper gold. Actually a level um, eight and a half. I mixed equal parts eight copper with nine gold. And then our mint formula here, we're just gonna sandwich that in the middle. That's like the meat. So we have like a hamburger, right? We have the buns and we have the meat. So I'm gonna melt these two formulas together and this is gonna give me the mid-tone. So that mid-tone is really what I feel is what gives you a beautiful copper color melt from um, depth to brightness on the ends. Do we have any questions? Pop in your question. I'm not sure if I can see any questions on here when it pops up, um, but I will try my best to keep up with any questions. All right, you can see that beautiful blend from dark to light. And let me pop this foil in. And I'm actually gonna go over some of the other um, subsections in my color application. If you're just joining in, this is, I'm gonna move this here, my beautiful drawing here. This is the back section that I'm working on right now. You can see it, it's at a diagonal back. Um, and what I'm, what I'm wanting here is a beautiful um, melt from depth to light, but also keeping it brighter towards her face frame. So when I go in here, I always also have my um, brush to make sure I keep everything nice and organized and neat. So you can go in, you can also, what I did on the other side, weave some brighter pieces here to make sure we have uh, dimension throughout our color melt. So I'm gonna go in with my lightest shade and this is gonna be for the ends to keep it nice and bright. Saturate that and then go in with my mids. Saturate the mids with my mid formula to give us that beautiful color melt. So we went from a level five at the base to a level seven to an eight and a half, nine on her ends to give her some beautiful brightness and a dimensional color melt. So I'm using my fingers here really just saturating and working the product in the hair. I love how creamy the consistency is. It really makes it easy um, to work with the product. And I'm finding that I'm using less product behind the chair because of how amazing the consistency is. So this is my brightness here. I'm just gonna work a little bit more depth in that with my base formula. Using my fingers, and then using my lightest formula from her mids to her ends, but keeping it brighter at the root, at the face frame here, sorry, not at the root, keeping it brighter towards the face and more depth towards the back, but really just working that product in. All right, so moving on to our next section, um, you can see that there's a triangle, inverted triangle here and this is that section here. Now, um, realistically, we don't get a lot of, you know, sun, natural brightness in this area. So this is the area where really, you can take this in one go and really just apply your color. Um, I like to have more detail at the hairline to really keep the front face frame right because we know most of our clients um, they like to just put their hair forward and we know that the underneath here is almost like part of the face frame and that's why I like to keep the detail right here um, in the nape area because that tends to be a part of the face frame um, so making sure we keep brightness there but in this area in this triangle area here this is where again we like to have the most brightness so you can go in with your formula and really just, you know, apply this 
all over. Um, I can even work this a little bit lower here, almost like to the mids, because we know that if we want the top to pop for brightness, we need depth in the interior here. So this is where um, I'm still color melting. I'm still uh, wanting that darkness to brightness on the ends, but I'm really going to drag out this root formula a little bit lower so that I can have the most depth in this area. So I'm going to try to work as fast and as clean as possible, um, making sure I really saturate the roots first, right? I don't want any holidays here um, or any spots going on, especially if we have a client starting at a lighter level, like my model here, she's starting at a light blonde, which is great for me. I, I don't have to pre-lighten her. Um, but I'm going in with just the base, really working that into the um, root, saturating, and applying this as fast as possible so that I can move on to the front. Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. If you're just joining in, we're doing a copper color melt this morning. I am taking over for Moroccan Oil. So excited to be here with Hair Brain. All right, so now that that root is applied, I can go in with my um, section, my first section. And I'm literally, because her hair is not so dense, uh, she doesn't have a lot of hair, my model here, I can take this in like two sections. And really, I want to make sure I like to just keep a clean, Oh, it, it starts off clean, but it's about to get um, dirty in a little bit. Uh, but I start off with brushing the section here, especially if you're taking like a bigger, wider section, just to make sure all of the hair is spread out. Go in with your balayage board. Um, I'm using a Moroccan oil balayage board. It's very lightweight, and it's that beautiful, iconic Moroccan oil color that I love. And I can go in and really just saturate this, spread the hair out, make sure you're going in uh, with the balayage board. You could really push that color in to really saturate. Um, and when I'm applying this, I'm going to like drag this down, this root color down a little bit lower to her mids. Um, and then maybe I go in and I don't do a, a lighter color on her ends. I'm using the two uh, colors that I have, so a level five cop red copper, and then a level seven copper gold in this interior because I want the most depth in this area. Now I'm just gonna go in with my fingers and as I work my way down, the strand, I'm using my fingers to really blend this color out. So going from one side to the other, you can see that beautiful depth in there. I'm going to be left with some beautiful dimension when I'm done with this. And maybe at the very ends, hit the very ends of this section with that level eight and a half copper copper gold. So I'm done with that midsection there. I'm going to take my next one. I have a towel here on my tray, cleaning off my tray. I'm making sure I don't, I'm not missing any questions here. Um, okay, there we go. Let's move on to the next section here. I'm going to grab my brush, my comb, Spread this out to ensure that I can fully saturate this. Maybe I split this in two because it's a little bit too wide for me to work with um, so that I'm not overwhelmed and I keep things nice and clean. Going in with my balayage board here, I'm going to use this as a surface to paint on while I melt. Let's get her nice and close in there. 
getting my root formula again, dragging this down a little bit, and I'm gonna continue painting this at a diagonal back to really keep the depth um, in the interior and then more brightness when she pulls her hair forward towards her face, more brightness uh, towards her face. So I'm going in with my lightest formula and that is the eight copper with the nine gold and then my mid formula, that's seven copper with the six gold. I'm gonna use my fingers to melt this together. Now this is what I really love about um, melting hair color. It just makes it so much fun. And you can be really artistic with your placement. Of course, keeping in mind uh, what your clients and results, what she wants to see and really going in and paying attention to your client's texture and density. Like I mentioned before, my doll head here, she doesn't have a ton of hair. She has very low density, very fine hair. So I really wanna imitate depth um, to make it look like she has more hair than she has. So. Placing the depth in the interior will allow the top pieces here to really pop and give me dimension in my end result. And not only is my client like gonna feel good, she's gonna love her color, but she might even feel like she has more hair than she started with. Going in with my balayage board here, and this is my root color going in at a diagonal back, making sure I press that product in to my section. And I'm also paying attention um, so that this can be cohesive and it can blend together. Where did I drag that depth on this side? I'm gonna match it on the other side um, so that it's not uneven. Yeah, so it's important when we're going in, when we're coloring the hair, we're really paying attention to, you know, your placement, where you're standing, where you're putting that depth, where you're putting that light. Because if you pay attention to all those little details in your application, that's really what's gonna set, you know, your, your, your work apart from everyone else. Hello everyone, where is everyone from? I don't think I can see any comments going in if there's even anything, any comments going on here. But thanks for joining in. My name is Rochelle. Um, I'm Locks by Rochelle on Instagram. I'm the Moroccan Oil Elite Color Professional and I'm so excited to be doing this color melt for you all this Tuesday morning. We are spicing things up. Okay, so the back is done. You can see that beautiful gradient color already, the depth and the brightness on the ends. Now I'm gonna go in and just make sure um, everything is fully saturated. My ends here are saturated. I don't want any holidays or any um, blonde peekaboos later. So now I'm gonna move on to the side. Um, I have a little bit uh, less than 30 minutes. I think we can do it. We can get it done. If anything, I'll do one side on camera and then I'll have the finished result later. But let me show you my placement for the side here. My lovely drawing. Um, <laughs> I, I really tried to make this as nice as possible. Uh, so this is the side. Uh, you could see I did a diagonal back section at the hairline and really customize this to how much brightness, how much depth you want to have um, in the application. So I like to just have my clients um, show me some inspiration photos because I like to like dissect the inspiration photos. So based on that, um, and obviously wanting to enhance their features, combining it together and really giving them a customized hair color um, service is what I like to do. So um, 
for my model today, I want to keep her face frame nice and bright and almost like um, chunky. <laughs> so I have this diagonal back section and what I like to do, I just like to connect this to the back almost like a halo. So I went all the way to the back here. So I'm going to make sure this connects and then I have this another inverted triangle here to make sure that I have depth on the side. And you can see this is like the depth that I have here in this triangle. Um, so when I'm going in and working this triangle section, I'm making sure I'm working this a little bit, the depth a little bit lower so that the top here, the brightness can really pop and I can have um, or make it look like she has more hair because we know if we want brightness to pop we need depth right underneath so that is um, like a key section I always like to have enough depth here and if you're someone who struggles with maybe over foiling having this little area right above the right above the ear and right behind the face frame is an area where you can maybe not put as many foils or add in a little bit more depth. Maybe for your root shadow or root melt, drag it down a little bit lower here or add more low lights in this area for more depth. All right, so I'm just going in again and applying my root. Um, again, going in at a diagonal back. So I want to erase or try to avoid any like harsh lines. So if I go in with a horizontal, we know that um, my end result, it might be like, you know, a really defined horizontal line. If you go in at a diagonal, diagonal back, it'll be nice and softer um, and it'll ensure that it will flow a little bit better to avoid any of those harsh lines. Going in with my first root formula for the color melt, that is 4.6, that is a 4R, 4 red, and I mixed in some 6.4, that is a 6 copper. So you can also see here, I'm going at a diagonal back, and I'm keeping um, the back here as my visual to see where I applied that depth and that light. And then going in with my brighter formula, that is a 8.4, eight copper with a 9.3, nine gold. Now something I didn't talk about earlier is what I added to my formula. So it's not just red and copper um, color rhapsody. I also added some color infusion. So color infusion is a pure color mixer that you could add in with your permanent formulation or your demi-permanent formulation. And I added in some red and some yellow with um, my mid formula and my ends formula. So for my mid formula, I added five grams of red and three grams of yellow to give me extra pop of what is red and yellow make, orange, right, copper. So I, when you really want to enhance your formulation, you could use um, some color infusion. I just want to make sure that, oh, there we go, okay. That I'm not missing any comments in here. Um, there's no, oh, great tips, yay! Okay, so yes, I am seeing the comments now. Hi, Carlisle, no, Carlisle, is that a place in England? Cause yeah, Evelyn from Carlisle, England. Thank you so much for tuning in. What time is it there in England? I'm pretty sure it's opposite time, right? Opposite time zone, because it is 11 a.m. here in California on a Tuesday morning, and we are spicing things up. 
Okay, I have my brush here, and something that I um, haven't mentioned earlier, a product that I love applying to the hair before I color is this all-in-one leave-in conditioner. So if you have a client with very porous hair or over-processed hair, I love just spraying my all-in-one leave-in conditioner. Um, this equals out the porosity of the hair. If you have a client that you've just bleached and lightened, and you're gonna go in and apply color or toner or gloss, um, that is a great product to add in right before you apply the gloss formula. Okay, going in again with my root color, but for this one, I might want to just weave again, weave and still um, maintain a little bit of brightness towards the side here. Or actually, I'm assessing now, and no, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave depth here. So I'm, I'm gonna because I have enough hair at the top. So I'm gonna go in at a diagonal back with that root color, drag this down, and I have my brighter color on the ends here, still at a diagonal back, keeping it brighter towards the front, lighter in the bottom. I'm using my balayage board so that I can really work that product in. It makes it a lot easier and um, easier for me. <laughs> so I have my mid formula there, and this is what's gonna give me that beautiful color melt from the depth to the mids, and then keeping it bright on the ends. Any questions? Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I am almost done with the side here. Now, I'm gonna actually finish the other side off camera because I have less than like 15 minutes on here and I wanna show you the most important part, right? The most important part is the face frame. So now we've applied the back, the side, I'm gonna to move to the face frame. I really wanna show you this area and then I'll move to the top and finish that off. So I'm gonna wipe off my hands because um, we've got a lot of color on there. If you're just tuning in, Hello, welcome, my name is Rochelle. I'm the Moroccan Oil Elite Color Professional and we are doing a copper color melt. We're here at the very front of our application and you can see I just braided it to just keep it nice and organized um, and like away from the face. But you can split this into two sections. Oh no, the fire alarm is going. Um, I think we're okay, but ignore the beeping. If you hear the beeping from the fire alarm, um, it might be just like some testing or whatever, but I'm gonna just um, split this section in half because it is a wider section. This will help my application uh, be a little bit cleaner. I have a clean clip here. I'm just gonna clip this away. So I'm gonna start here at the hairline. And I want to make sure I have uh, the most brightness here. So I'm going to go in at a diagonal back. And I'm going to clip the top here away. And you can see, this is my sectioning in the side here. I made this cute little drawing for you all. So I have a diagonal back section that connects to the back of the ear. Taking this section here. Ignore the fire alarm. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm safe. I think I'm safe. <laughs> okay, getting my balayage board. Now, if it gets a little bit crazy like this, like it is now, just get your towel and literally just wipe it off. Um, especially if you're at the most important part, right here, right dedication. <laughs> you gotta keep going. Um, especially when it's the most important here, important part here at the front. I don't want any spotting or anything like that, so making sure my balayage board, is, balayage board is clean. I'm gonna grab my first formula. That's that 4.6 for red. Try to do this as neat as possible. Um, 
um, especially because, like I said, it is the most important part. Make sure that front part is fully covered. And I'm going to also lift the back here to make sure I saturate around the ears. Again, we don't want to have any holidays. If you're just joining in, ignore the fire alarm. I think we're okay. Maybe it's just some testing. Okay, now that the hairline has that root color, I still want some um, depth right there, right? I'm gonna take my balayage board, angle this so that you guys can see. There we go. I'm gonna take my base color, that's at level five, and I'm just gonna work this at a diagonal back. Keeping it brighter towards the front, more depth on the ends here. Taking my mid color, I'm going to apply that in the mids, still working that at a diagonal back. And we are doing a copper color mount. If you are just joining in for her mids, I formulated with a 6.3, that is a 6 gold, and 7.4, that is a 7 copper. And then for her ends here, we have, I'm, I'm looking at my, my color there in the back. We have 8.4 copper and 9.3 gold, but I also use the color infusion in red and yellow to enhance my formula a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use my fingers, and I'm gonna just melt these two formulas together at the root. And this is really what makes Color melting fun. Um, you're really customizing not just your formula, but your application based on your client's um, head shape, their hair density. All right, now that um, I've melted the base and the mid together, I'm gonna go in with my clean fingers. I wipe them off and I'm gonna blend that mid formula to the ends. All right, make sure it's fully saturated. Um, I want to definitely make sure I'm keeping my client's hairline clean so that the, the color doesn't get all over her. And you can even go in with a foil, um, lay this on top of a foil or a mesh just to make sure that your client um, feels comfortable, that there's no hair color, you know, falling in her face. I'm gonna take my next section here and apply my color melt at a diagonal back again, paying attention to how far I work this, this base, the depth. That is a level five at the, at the base, so I want to keep it soft, but I also want to still maintain that depth at the hairline so that the rest can pop. Lift that section up, make sure it's fully saturated underneath so that we don't have any oopsie daisies going on. <laughs> My balayage board, I just wipe that off again. Um, make sure it's nice and clean. Use that as a surface to really make my application a lot more easier. And I can also get that product and push it into that board to make sure everything is saturated. I'm using the amazing Moroccan Oil Color Rhapsody Permanent Cream Color. Now, I was looking at this, um, I was getting a little bit distracted, but you can see that's like a horizontal line, and no, no, I don't want that. So, I'm actually going to go in and kind of blur that horizontal line by dragging, dragging that a little bit lower so that it's um, softer right around the face. Bye. 
Use your fingers, blend, 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 melt, melt, melt. I would say, like I said earlier, this is what makes it so fun during like a color melt application. Hello everyone, thanks for joining in. I'm doing a copper color melt and we're almost, almost done here. So I've applied the back. Woo, you can see how beautiful that is. Um, that gradient, beautiful copper color melt there from her root to her eggs. And now I've applied the side and I'm almost done with the face frame. I'm actually gonna save this. Um, actually, let me show you because this is this is also like the important part, right? This is what our client sees the most. Um, so when I'm going in with a face frame, I want to keep it nice and bright. I'm gonna lower this mannequin down so that I'm not like hurting my back or anything. As hairstylists, I always share whenever I'm teaching, like it's so important we take care of our body and ourselves. Um, I don't want to be hurt, you know, 30 years from now and and my body give up on me because I didn't take care of it. Okay, so now I'm finishing up the face frame here. I'm gonna go in with my base color and that is the level five. So I mixed up the four. 6. That is a 4 red in Moroccan oil color Rhapsody permanent cream color with 10 volume. And I mix that with 6.6. 6. That is a 6 copper. First of all, look at this beautiful packaging. Um, look at the gold reflect. It's so pretty. And they're all like color coded. So it looks so nice in my color bar. Look at how pretty that color bar is. <laughs> okay, I'm getting distracted here. I need to focus. Okay, I have my base color. I'm gonna just root tap at the base because yes, I want depth, but I also want this face frame to really pop and give her the most brightness. I'm gonna lift underneath, make sure this is fully saturated, Work that in, side to side. Still at a diagonal back. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna split it into, just to keep my application nice and um, tidy. Still working at a diagonal back. But you can see I'm only dragging this down like half an inch at this point. I'm going in with my balayage board. I'm gonna take my mitt formula now, apply this, because I still want there to be a beautiful uh, radiant color melt from dark to light, but most of this section is gonna be my bright formula. So this, I'm definitely gonna work a lot higher than all of my previous subsections because I want that money piece to pop. Really saturating, working that color in, and this was 8.4, eight copper with 9.3, nine gold. Work that in, use my fingers here, and I'm gonna blend, blend, blend. Um, you could also take this, bring it up, and use the board and like blend with your finger. This is really what makes hair coloring so much fun. Um, I always have so much fun, especially on a doll head, right? You can go crazy. All right, now that we blend that root melt into the mid formula and then kept the um, ends brighter, make sure it's saturated. I can go in, lift this up, grab my towel, make sure I clean off my client's forehead here so that she doesn't have color all over her face. She's nice and comfortable. Even though the Moroccan Oil Color Rhapsody Permanent Cream Color smells amazing, has that signature Moroccan oil um, scent. I always say it smells like a vacation. Uh, we don't want to overwhelm my client here. So 
So I'm just going to slowly press that into the foil and maybe just like but, um, fold it over so that my client can see, right? <laughs> then I'm going to take this next section and then work the same application, working that root formula just maybe like an inch down but keeping it brighter right there at her part line. I parted her um, down right down the middle. Taking my mid formula, applying that, and then my ends. But really making sure I keep all the brightness in that face frame. I'm not working that root way too low. I'm not stretching that depth into the mids. I'm really just almost creating like a little, a little mini melt, a little mini face frame melt. <laughs> All right, so now that she's nice and blended, I'm just gonna go in with my root color and go back in and make sure that this is fully, fully saturated. We, want, we don't want any like peekaboos or anything like that. Um, in this application, especially in the front. You want to make sure you could go in, check underneath, go in this area, check underneath there, make sure it's fully saturated. But the sides and the face frame is done. Let me just show you guys. I'm going to actually finish her off camera, but you can see that beautiful gradient color from her root to her mids to her ends. Um, on the side there but you can see how this flows nicely into the back for the top section here this what I just kept it really simple and honestly very basic with my sectioning this is like a bird's eye view I'm just gonna take her mohawk section at a horizontal um, so this is the front of her face and I'm gonna start at the back with my top section application after I do the other side. So when I'm working up the head, I like to go from side to side so that it can process evenly. And my application, I feel like I don't get so lost. You don't ever want to forget a section. You think you're almost done, but there's a section that you forgot. Oh my gosh, that's the worst. I've been there. My foil fell here. So right after I finish, the other side here with my application in the front, I'm gonna go in at the top. And at this point, honestly, this, the bowl of color that I've been working with has been sitting here for the last 58 minutes. So once you start mixing your color, we are working with chemicals, it works uh, right away, right? So the life of your color, it loses its potency when it's sitting there for 50 minutes. So when I get to this top section here, I'm gonna remix my formula so that I can make sure that the color is consistent throughout the whole head. Um, because now that this color has died down, um, I wanna make sure it's nice and fresh. So let's go over again before I, I forget what I used, <laughs> I honestly meant to write it down, but I didn't write it down. Uh, you can see here it's blank, but I'm going to share with you what I used for her formula. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? For her root, her base color, I mixed up Moroccan oil, Color Rhapsody, Permanent Cream Color, and that was equal parts. 4.6, that is 4R. 4 red with equal parts. 6.4, that is 6 copper. And I'm going in on this section, but I can see like the ends of the top here is like poking out. So I'm just gonna clip this away because I wanna make sure I don't touch this with the root formula. You want to stay nice 
clean and organized throughout your application. Um, so that was my root formula. So we went from a level five. For my mid formula, I mixed up equal parts. Um, no, not equal parts. One ounce of 7.4. She got a little dirty there. 7.4, that's seven copper. With half ounce, I mix equal parts to make a 6.3, that's six gold. And what I used in my mid formulation is a little bit of color infusion, pure color mixers. This is um, so much fun. It comes in every color in the rainbow. I use red and yellow to make a copper. Uh, equal parts and I mix that in with my mid formula. I did I believe three grams of each. I wrote it all on my phone um, so I'm going to write this out and then I'll post the after on my Instagram later um, so that I added into my mid formula and then for my ends for the color melt uh, I used 8.4 that is 8 copper with 9.3, nine gold. Look at the beautiful packaging of Color Rhapsody. And I also added my color infusion into that for 